Luke Belmont, just a few days ago, started posting about this meme coin over on Twitter. And when he did, the price exploded. It's up over 50x in just the last four days. And this tells me one thing, that we need to find a way to get involved in the projects that Luke's getting involved in just before he starts to tweet about them. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you a brand new tool that I found that I'm going to teach you how to use so that you understand exactly when Luke Belmar, as well as Alex Becker and other big influencers, are starting to invest in their favorite projects. Because as soon as they've done that, they're then going to go across to Twitter, they're going to go across to YouTube, and they're going to push the price of those coins. And you can ride that same wave of success. You can hack the system. So hit the like button and let's get into today's video. Now guys, when you see a chart like this, it is your job not to go and ape into it, but to go and understand why the F it is doing this. Okay, so here we are. It's a meme coin. Do I know much about meme coins? You know I'm not particularly expert on meme coins. But I come down below and I'm like, yeah, okay, nice. What is it so special about this meme coin? There's one thing so special about this meme coin and it is backed by Luke Belmar, who has probably like millions of followers across all social accounts worldwide, and is probably one of the more influential people in the crypto space. Therefore, when he goes and says, I'm getting into this meme coin, people tend to go and follow him. But typically, the big influencer, for example, in this case, Luke Belmar, was probably getting into the project somewhere around here. And this is where we want to be getting in, because if you're getting in up here, yes, there is a chance that it goes a little bit higher, but obviously, the higher it goes up, there is also a bigger probability that at some point it has a correction. Now, I'm not here to speculate on how high this coin can go. I'm here to teach you how we can find the next project and be in down and around here. And before I show you, I just want to tell you something. Typically, when I make a video like this about Alex Becker or Luke Belmar or whoever it is, people are like, oh, I hate all influencers. They're so immoral. They're just making loads of money because they're just calling things. They're buying it. It's not moral. Now, you're probably right. But at the same time, you're here because you want to make money. At least that's why I'm here, okay? You're here because you want to be able to make some disgusting big crypto gains. And the only way you're going to do that is by swallowing your ego or swallowing your pride. I don't know if you can swallow an ego and getting over that fact. And as soon as you can get over that fact and be like, well, if I can't beat him, I must join him or her or whoever it is. And if I start to think like this, and I look for opportunity and I don't get hung up on the emotions and my own kind of issues, then I can start to make some real cap. So anyway, life lesson over. Now in the second tutorial, which is going to go after this one, I'm going to teach you how to work out exactly what Alex Becker's about to talk about in a YouTube video before he does, so that you can jump in on coins like Xborg, which then did this as soon as Alex Becker's video went live, going up over 200% in a 24 hour period. Are you still with me? If you are, you're about to learn something incredibly powerful that is going to make you some really good money without having to become an expert in crypto. This is TweetScout.io, and I've shown you this maybe a couple of times before, but not in the way that I'm about to show it to you. Now, I'm not associated with this project in any way, but I do use it almost on a daily basis. Now, there is a free version available, but also if you want more premium, then you can pay for it. But you do get a three day free trial. So go and try it out, try and make some money on a meme coin at that time. And then you can go and use that money to go and buy yourself, you know, a, uh, a premium membership. Now I want you to imagine right now that we don't know that Luke Belmore is the one that pumped this. So when I see this coin pumping, I want to go out there and find out why the F this coin is pumping over every other. And typically when it comes to meme coins, it's due to attention. Come across to Twitter, copy that ticker thing under there. Come across to Tweet Scout, paste it in up here and you get Dolan Duck. And I can see that it's increasing a lot in number of followers. This is a very handy tool for any crypto project, not just meme coins, okay? Now, what I can do is I can come down below and I can see the number of people that it's been following and unfollowing, okay? I can see the feed of the new followers and other things like that. And I can see the feed of the new followers. And as we come down below, you can see that on this list, we find Luke Belmar. And even before that, we also saw people like Murad giving it a follow. And since this project's normally only got around 6,000 followers, many people might have missed it. But because now we can start to identify the key movers and shakers in any particular niche. So, so for example, when you talk about meme coins, you've got Luke Belmar, you've also got Murad, you've got another few big influencers. You can then start to understand what these people are aping into. And if you go down through the list and you find some of the influencers who were getting into the project just before it started to pump, then typically you might be able to find a few of these influencers who are in it together who are going to go and pump these meme coins, particularly the anonymous ones over on Twitter, 
seem to be working together to be able to pump lots of meme coins. So instead of having to follow trades over a Nansen and wallet tracking, which is much more difficult, you can literally do attention tracking. You can see what these people are getting into based off of what they're going and following, who they're unfollowing, etc. Now, obviously, this is not a complete guarantee of success, okay? Luke Belmar, as well as other influencers, might go and follow certain meme coins, but not really give them too much attention. But there's a high probability that it's going to be getting into those projects, and once he's into those projects, he is probably the best person to be pumping them. He's likely to talk about it. I then recommend that you go out and you find other meme coins that have been running very strongly recently. And I don't mean like the turbos and the ponkies and these massive meme coins. I mean like the smaller market cap meme coins that literally have come out of nowhere in like the last week or two. For example, like this one called Klaus, okay? Uh, this Dolan Duck we've already talked about and others that have just popped up. You can then see again with Klaus, you can go and find out more information. 50% bot followers is not ideal. Uh, but it's fairly standard in lots of Twitter pages to have some form of bot followers. Uh, you can see then down below who are the top influencers following Klaus right now. You've got Rand from Crypto Banter. You've got Miles Deutsche. You've got Kyle. You've got a few other big names in there. And again, go all the way down to the feed of new followers. And you're going to start to find some of the early influencers who are getting into these projects. Now, these influencers might be getting lucky. But what I would do is maybe track some of these influencers. Start writing them down. And the ones who are getting in early to all of the projects at the right time. These are probably very good people to follow. You simply then need to follow their Twitter handles. And then when they start getting into projects, you can get into those projects as well. Pretty easy, right? You then don't have to try and understand that it's all about the culture of the individual meme coin, which I'm pretty sure is just fake news. And it's just something you're being told because then you can actually understand that what is really driving these meme coins is individual influencers, which is like 99% of the time. Okay, so that's the best way to be able to go find meme coins in my opinion but again follow influencers who are giving a lot of attention to meme coins okay so for example alex becker has a lot of clout and if he ever called a meme coin i'm sure it would go up a lot he doesn't get anywhere near meme coins so we won't necessarily carry that same clout into the meme coin arena now there's one thing to note different people in crypto markets are good for giving attention to certain things okay so alex becker focuses more towards like ai gaming coins he's gonna be very influential if he ever talks about gaming coins same with elio trades but they're not necessarily going to have a similar level of clout when it comes to meme coins. So focus towards the meme coin guys during the meme coin seasons, of which we're in a meme coin season right now. Now, if you follow Alex Becker on Twitter, then you'll realize that this won't be very useful as a process to be able to find out what he's opening into. Because he's following Robert Kennedy uh, and a few other people. He's not really diving in after various meme coins. He's not diving in to go and follow GameFi projects. So we got to be a little bit smarter. Alex Becker uploads videos and has started to upload videos again. And when Alex Becker starts talking about coins, they often go up very, very fast. This is Xborg. He talked about it on the 13th of October, just a few days ago. It went up 212% in just the space of a day or so. This is crazy. And the best time for you to be able to get into these coins is similar times when he's getting in or just after before that video goes live or as that video goes live. Now, when he posts videos, he updates you and tells you on Twitter that that video is about to go live. Therefore, it's quite easy to know exactly when that video is going to go live and you can set a timer for it. As soon as it goes live, you want to be doing this. Now, come across to the video. OK, easy. Hit the like button if you wish, you know, show your support. And if you haven't hit the like button on my video, waiting for. Anyway, what you want to do, because you don't want to necessarily, if you want to be able to capitalize the most, watch this whole video. Now watch the whole video later on. Okay, I support that. He's an entertaining guy. Good videos. Go and watch his videos. But what you want to do to get ahead of everyone else who's just watching along with this is to download yourself Glass. Glass is just a, a free extension that you can get. And this is going to allow you to give the transcript and summary for this a video. You can copy that transcript and then what you're going to be able to do is come across to ChatGPT and you remember you're going to be able to do this in the first like 10, 20 seconds of this video going live with all the other people just waiting to find that small cap altcoin and then you're going to be able to be like which small cap alts is he bullish on? Now, I realized from the videos that I make on my YouTube channel that people like to ape into the smallest coin that I talk about. If I talk about 10 coins and I'm like, these are all amazing coins, the smallest one, without fail, you all seem to ape into. And even with my channel, which is nowhere near as big as his, you get very big pumps towards the upside. So if you want similar gains, and I'm going to teach you how to make gains from front running YouTube videos, then make sure you subscribe to the House of Crypto with the notification bell turned on. 
and you can use this method on me. But make sure you watch my videos to the end, okay? Now, obviously, I've been chatting a lot, but realistically, you would have been able to do this in the first 20 or 30 seconds of watching that video. Now, you're way ahead of the game because everyone's still got another 16 and a half minutes of Alex Becker story time before they even go to an exchange and start to look at buying things. Now, what I can see down below is different coins. We've got Superverse, IMX, Beam, Xborg, Node. Now, you should start to learn a little bit more about what Alex Becker talks about in his videos and have a list of coins you know so that when one pops up that you don't really recognize, like Xborg here, you can jump across to CoinMarketCap. You can see the size of the market cap it's got and you can realize that everyone watching him will go and ape into that coin. Okay, without fail, people ape into the small coins that Alex Becker talks about. Don't know why, no one researches. Okay, no matter how many times I tell you to do your own research, no one does, everyone just apes in. Okay, Expo, described as a sneaky infrastructure coin flying under the radar. He literally didn't say anything more than that. And that coin went up 212%. Bonkers, right? So, understanding that he has big clout, this is one of the smaller projects here that maybe he doesn't talk about that much because he does talk about these. He has talked about Parallel AI before. He's talked about Superverse, IMX, Beam. You want to find a smaller market cap coin that he's kind of not really talked about that he's been ish semi-positive on like he was there. Now, what I would do would then come across to coin market cap. Now, obviously, it's gone up 212%. Okay, so it's now $50 million. But when he posted about this, it was under $20 million. Okay, just pretty small cap for some of the coins uh, on his channel. Now, what you can do is obviously go through and do your own research. You can find out where you might buy it. You can also go to the website, go to the white paper and Twitter. And in future videos, I will continue to show you in more detail how to understand different projects and things like that. Okay, but this is more of a method of just following the influencer. But obviously, do your own research. If you go and lose money because you ape into a project that he's talked about or I talk about or whatever else, unfortunately, it's on you. Okay, so don't just ape into projects. If you are not comfortable with it, go and understand a little bit more about them. Do your research, if you will. Now, just to round everything off, you can come across to Xborg and you can copy this. And you can see that Xborg is following me. And that's probably because they're taking part in my Twitter competition, where you can win $500 by simply following the House of Crypto and retweeting this post. It's a link down below in the description. You simply need to write underneath what coin you would like $500 off. Maybe it's a meme coin, maybe it's Bitcoin, maybe it's whatever. I don't care. Write it down below, and one lucky winner will win 500 bucks. Now, after pasting in Xborg, I can then come across and find out different bits of information about it. I can find out which influencers are following it, okay? Now, obviously, I follow lots of crypto projects and don't follow other ones, okay? I personally don't follow every project that I'm invested in. I also have projects that I am invested in that I'm not following on Twitter. But when it comes to meme coins, it's all about that kind of level of support, okay? You can use this to start knowing who else is getting the attention on Xbox. Okay, so Xbox, come down below, see how it's been performing, see the different influencers, see the different projects that are basically following this one, and it could give you a good indication. If it's a smaller market cap coin, but it's growing in sort of social following and, and Twitter scores and these kind of things, and it's going to give you a good indication that it's moving in the right direction, particularly as we enter into a bull market, because remember, retail investors are going to flood into the space. I'm aware you're a retail investor, and I am as well. But we've been through this summer, we've been here longer, which makes us more of the kind of the smarter money side of things, hopefully. And then this means that we're kind of ahead of the curve. But all those people who are going to come in next, they're just going to ape into whatever they get told to ape into. And that's what we're working towards. Okay? We want to be able to front run those people so that when they're then going and looking at like Dolan Duck, whatever it's called, we're the ones who are starting to take our money out. Okay, We're starting to exit up here rather than what everyone else does and enters up here. Okay. When people are entering up here, they're too late, probably. You should be entering down here. And if you can't enter down here, where is the next one? And we will continue in future videos, probably next week, to do some different tutorials on how to find the next. Okay, this is the biggest key. This is how we managed to get into SUI after identifying the moves that were happening in Solana. We then got into Aptos. I think Aptos is about to fly off the same data that we learned about SUI. It's so easy. If you understand the moves, that are happening and the data that is showed to you. And if you're new or you've been in crypto for a while, but you're just struggling to keep up with the amount of data and information, then I recommend that you go and join the Moon House, which is linked down below. And there's a simple reason as to why you might join the Moon House, guys. Every day, myself and a team of experts are sharing the different alpha and things we find. For example, finding LSD the other day at 75 cents, just before it then ripped all the way up, doing nearly 86% in literally a day and a half. You could have been taking gains, you could still be in it, and you'd still be well in the money. 
here you can see a bunch of projects that we've been talking about more recently. Some of them have done 180% gains, 136% gains in just the last couple of weeks. So if you want to be finding all of these different coins before everyone else and before they get covered on YouTube, then make sure you're joining into the Moon House. We also have one live Zoom call each week where I take you through how to do different research, how to find the different chains and different projects that we're interested in, and how to become an alpha. You can also join a like-minded community who are all helping each other out on a daily basis. A great place to be able to learn more about crypto. Now, guys, obviously, that was interesting and useful, so smash that like button. And as you know, we're going to learn to become better fishermen through this bull market so that we can start to look after ourselves because it's player versus player. And the more that you upgrade your skills and knowledge, the more money you're going to make. Subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.